This is Oklahoma Lesson 16. It's found on OK43 and OK44 in your small workbook. So it says Understand Equations and Solutions. At the top, that's the title. On the right hand side at the top, it says Oklahoma Lesson 16, and then at the bottom, OK43. So do any of you know what you call 52 pieces of bread? Yeah, 52 pieces of bread. What what do you call that? Well, that would be a deck of carbs. Carbs. Carbohydrates, carbs, deck, carbs, 52. Mm, goodness gracious, moving along. Earthquakes occur along faults. The San Andreas Fault and California moves about 25 millimeters a year. Answer the questions below to find out how many years it would take the San Andreas Fault to move 150 millimeters. Well, first thing it asks us is what are you trying to find? Well, we're trying to find how many years it would take, right? So we could say this, the number of years, right? How many years it would take and we're going to let y equal what we are trying to find. All right. All right. Describe the problem and translate words to symbols. Millimeters per year. Well, it moves how many millimeters per year? 25. All right. And times years equals total millimeters that would be 150 wouldn't it if we look back at that 25 millimeters a year all right we got the total of 150 we just don't have the years yet so we're going to let y equal years all right and then it asks does y make the equation true replace y with 5 and evaluate so I'll replace it with 5. Well, I already know that, right? It's going to be 125. So is the equation true or false when y equals 5? Well, it's false. All right. So in this lesson, what we're going to do is it's going to ask us to uh, evaluate an equation and, and give us two separate numbers. And we're going to see, well, is it true with this number or is it true with this other number? All right. And this is part of algebra, part of understanding algebra, understanding the equations and their solutions. All right. So, you know, 125 doesn't equal 150, so it's false. Well, number four does y equal x make the equation true so we replace y with six and if we did that six times five is thirty six times two is twelve plus three is one hundred fifty so is the equation true or false when y equals six it is true so a value of the variable that makes an equation true is a solution it solves it that's the solution all right, sometimes it wants us in algebra to write an equation. Five and six want us to write an equation. Let's see if we can do that. Sally paid $94 for four concert tickets. This price included a $10 transaction fee. Write an equation to represent the cost C of one ticket. Well, we want it to equal C, right? The cost of one ticket. Well, check this out. $94 is what she paid, right? $10 of that $94 is the transaction fee. So if we subtracted 10 from 94, that would be how much she paid for four tickets. But if we wanted one ticket, well, we'd have to divide that by four. And that would equal the cost of one 
ticket. See, we got the $94 is what she paid. $10 she paid in the transaction fee. So that wasn't part of each ticket. All right, that was just the transaction fee. So if we take the transaction fee, that $10 here, from the 94, that $84 is what she would have paid for all four tickets. So then we're gonna take that and divide it by four. But you know what? It didn't ask us to solve it. It just asked us to write an equation. So 94 minus 10 divided by four equals C, the cost of one ticket. So I would like you to try number six. I want you to try number six. It may be a bit of a challenge, but I want you to see if you can write a, an equation out of this, okay? Go ahead and try that and we'll go over it. All right, so I know that P equals how much the puppy weighed, right? And I know that he gained two ounces a day and I don't know how many days he did. Don't know how many days. All right. First few days. It just says few days, right? So D is going to equal days, right? And then I know it weighed seven ounces at birth. Right? So 2D plus seven. It weighed seven ounces at birth. So I'm going to take ever how many days it was. Multiply those days by two because it was two ounces each day I'm going to add seven to it because he weighed seven ounces at birth All right, so you could have done something different. There were several ways to to do this correctly and I will uh, Obviously pause this video uh, To let you tell me what you wrote down and see if that's correct as well All right, so sometimes in algebra it wants you to tell what the variables represent and it's really important to understand what the variables represent especially when you have a word problem so that you know okay that that this variable represents something tangible that that i need to find this is what i mean all right so a taco costs three dollars and a burrito costs four dollars and those better be good tacos and burritos. The question 3 times n plus 4 times 5 equals n represents the total cost of some tacos and burritos. So use this information to fill in the blanks for 6 to 8. It's supposed to be 7 to 8. It even says 6 to 8 in your workbook, doesn't it? That's weird. It says say seven to eight. Let's just use seven to eight. All right, so the variable M represents what? Think about it. What costs three dollars each? The tacos. So the total cost of some tacos, so some tacos. All right. Yeah, the number of tacos bought. So some tacos. The variable N represents, well, the total cost, wouldn't it? So N represents the total cost. And M represents some tacos. Right? So in, in understanding that, when you write equations, uh, it's, it's just good to know. Good to know and understand what each variable represents. All right, I want you to go ahead and solve 9 and 10 by yourself. Solve 9 and 10 by yourself. Follow the directions. Solve 9 and 10, and then we'll go over it. All right, so it says true when k equals, well, let's see. Is it true when k equals 21? Let's see, so 21 divided by 7 plus 3 equals 8. 3 plus 3 equals 8. 6 equals 8. Well, that's not true. So we can say 21. And then, look, we know it's going to be 35 here because it's the only one left, right? But we're still going to do our work. 
we're still going to do our work. So 35 divided by 7 plus 3 equals 8. 5 plus 3 equals 8. 8 equals 8. Alrighty. Number 10. Let's see which one it is. So we've got y is 4, z is 6. So 8 times 4 plus 5 times 6. 32 plus 30 equals 62. 62, 62, not 63. 62 equals 62. So true. When y equals 4, z equals 6. Now we can say that false when y equals 3 and z equals 7. But we're still going to do the work. So 8 times 3 plus 4. 5 times 7 equals 62. 24 plus 35 equals 62. 59 equals 62. No, it doesn't. Alrighty. Well, again, with other lessons that we've done, it's just important to pay attention to what it's asking you and the information that it gives you. All right, have a good one.